Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, October 10th. I'm Laura Boyd. And I'm Barry Harris. Happy homecoming, everybody. We start off this homecoming day by taking a look at the weather. Good morning, this is Krista and Paul with the birthdays. The birthdays for Friday are... Lazarus Corliss. And Samantha Ricks. The birthdays for Saturday are... Jean Deluzio. And Robert Kling. The birthdays for Sunday are... Carrie Verish. And Sam Bunny. Happy birthday. Nail over to today's headline. Good morning, this is Jess with today's headline. Barack Obama will be rallying tomorrow in four Philadelphia neighborhoods. Now back to the news desk. In honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Interboro students from various clubs and sports teams have joined together to promote awareness at tonight's homecoming game. There will be students supporting the pink and walking around collecting money for breast cancer awareness and research. There will be a mandatory meeting for all those participating in the Haunted Park on Tuesday the 14th. If you cannot make it, come to Ms. Cress's room, room 113 at 2.20 to 2.30 to sign in. Environmental Club members must attend a meeting on October 15th or October 16th in room 308 at 2.30. Schoolyard Habitat Project, Kindergarten Kindergarten Academy trip and service projects will be discussed. New members are always welcome. Now over to sports. Good morning. I'm Jim and this is Kevin and we're here to bring you today's sports. The Phillies grinded out the Dodgers yesterday with a final score of 3-2. to two. Chase Ali hit a two-run home run in the bottom of the sixth inning, followed by a Pat Burrell solo home run to take the 3-2 to two lead. In came Brad Lidge and out went the Dodgers. Field hockey plays Marple Newtown today at 345. Dismissal is at 2 o'clock. Girls play at Haverford today at 345. Dismissal is at 2. The volleyball team plays the Community Academy of Philadelphia at 345. The JV volleyball plays Moyer Academy at home, 345. Boys soccer plays Academy Park home at 330. The football team plays Academy Park tonight at 730. Ninth grade football lost a hard fought game 20 to 8 yesterday to Chester. Turnovers and interceptions hurt the Bucks who are looking to bounce back at home against Kennett Square. The Phillies play the Dodgers today at 4 o'clock. The cross country team faces William Patton Tennant Saturday. That's it for sports. Now over to the news desk. The deadline for the permission slips for the senior class trip is October 24th. Make sure they are turned into Mr. McLaughlin in the boys' locker room or Miss Barkley in the library office. Philadelphia Cares Day will be on Saturday, October 18th. Edinburgh High School will give back to less fortunate schools in the Philadelphia School District. It will take place from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Permission slips can be obtained from Ms. Menzik or Ms. Carruthers. They are due on the 16th, and a meeting to those interest, interested will follow. The homecoming dance is tomorrow from 7.30 to 10.30. Tickets are $4 in advance, $5 at the door if there are any left. You can get a dollar back if you bring in canned food. Now it's time for the spirit drawing. What you all have been waiting for today's theme is class colors. Let me tell you what the colors are. Seniors are blue, just as I am dressed. Juniors are green, sophomores are orange, and freshmen are the lovely bright color of brown. All right, getting out the spirit bowl. I'm gonna draw a name out here at random, and I have no advanced knowledge as to whom I'm going to pick out. And I have a name right now. It is Scott Hartzell. If you could please zoom in on that and focus to make sure that I'm not making that up. Okay, so that's it for this Spirit Week, and thank you all for participating. We now turn to the many item of the day. Amy, I hate you. This is Amy with the vocab word. Today's word is candor, meaning honesty or frankness. For example, I was surprised by Sean's random candor. Now over to quote of the day. This is Chris and Miles with this day in history. On this date, October 10, 1977, Joe Namath played his last game in the NFL. Also, in 1965, the Red Dragon made his first appearance on the U.S. pilot strip. Now, it's a trivia. This is Joe at the Point of Trivia. Did you know the first toilet tank scene on U.S. TV was on Leave it to Beaver? Now over to entertainment. Hi, this is Harris from the Entertainment. Here are some concerts happening near you. The Clash, The Pretenders, and Bob Dylan. All are located in Philadelphia. And now back to the news desk. 
That's it, everyone. Hope you come to the homecoming game tonight. I'm Laura Boyd. And I'm Barry Harris. It is against this station policy to endorse a candidate who is running for president. But if you want my endorsement, I say you should vote for Pedro. Okay. <laughs>